Tonight for dinner, we are having biscuits and gravy, scrambled eggs, country ham, and bacon. I'm going to start off by making my gravy. I use butter in my gravy instead of grease. And I just melted a fourth a cup of butter in my cast iron skillet. And now I'm adding a fourth a cup of flour and I'm just going to blend that together. We love breakfast for dinner. What about you all? Let me know in the comments below if you like to eat breakfast for dinner. I like to use plant butter in my gravy instead of grease because I feel like it's a little bit healthier because plant butter is natural and it also gives it a sweet flavor and it's really good. If this gets too thick like mine is right now, you can add a little bit more butter as I'm going to have to here in just a second. And here I've added just a little bit more butter and so I'm just going to mix that together a little bit. It's supposed to look like this. And then at first I like to add a little bit of milk at a time and then mix it together and then after a couple of times I'll add the rest of the milk. And after all the milk has been added and mixed in a little bit, I'll just take my whisk and whisk away. I'll keep whisking until it comes to a slot bowl. And whenever it comes to a slot bowl, I'll just let it boil for one minute. And as it heats up, those clumps will come out. They'll blend in with the gravy. And after just a few minutes, it's already thickened up. If your gravy is too thick, you can add a little bit more milk. Mine did get a little too thick, but I was trying to fix everything at one time, so it was a little bit thicker than what we like, but that's okay. It was still delicious. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of salt and pepper to taste and mix that up real good. You can also add crumbled sausage in your gravy if you like. And then I'm going to fix these Grand Southern Homestyle Butter Tasting Biscuits. They are really good. They have little butter pieces in them and make them even better. Does anyone else get anxiety whenever you're opening up a can of biscuits? It always scares me. And this can of biscuits was like the loudest popping biscuits I've ever had. I normally fix my bacon in my oven and I'll just put it on a baking sheet and crinkle it up and put it in there for a few minutes. But I really wanted to try in my Ninja Foodie and air crisp it. And I think I'll just stick to the oven the next time. This way was okay, but I like the oven better. I just set my air fryer on 390 degrees and at about seven or eight minutes, it was done. Um, kind of overcooked it a little bit. You just have to keep an eye on it. We all agree that it does taste better in the oven, but if you want to air fry your bacon, this is a good way. As you can see, it's overcooked in a couple places on the bacon, so next time I would just cook it for about seven or eight minutes. And then I'm just going to fix this Clifty Farm Country Ham. It's super easy to make and it's delicious. I just put it in my skillet and I pour some coke over top of it and I'll cook it on medium heat for just a few minutes on each side. My husband has already prepared the scrambled eggs so I'm just going to cook them now. All we do is add a little bit of milk and some salt and pepper in them and scramble them up and cook them. 
The only thing missing that I wish we would have had was some sausage. I do love sausage, but it's really hard to cook everything at one time. And this is my plate. It was really good. Like I said, our gravy is a little bit thicker than what we normally make, but it was still delicious. And that's it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it and I hope it gave you some motivation to get up and cook your family breakfast or breakfast for dinner. Thank you all for watching and have a great day.